Hi friends! Shadi and Muna woke up one January morning and found out that it had been snowing throughout the night. They were too excited and decided to measure the height of the snow using a meter stick. Let's see how much snowfall was received that week. A snowy week. Shadi, quick, wake up. Good morning. Look, it snowed overnight. Cool. Let's put on our jackets, hats, and mittens and go outside. Let's also take the meter stick to measure the height of the snow. Monday. Monday. The snow is less than half a meter high. It's 0 0.3 meters. Tuesday. Tuesday. Today, the snow height is exactly between 1 meter and 2 meters. It's half a meter high. Wednesday. Wednesday. Today, the snow is 1.25 meters high. Thursday. It's 1.7 meters today. Almost 2 meters. Yay! Friday. Friday. Today, the snow is exactly 2 meters high. I am recording all these numbers on my workbook to track the height of the snow. Come, let's build a snowman! On which day was there less than 1 meter of snow? Look at the table. On Monday, there were 0 0.3 meters of snow, which is less than half a meter. On Tuesday, there were 0 0.5 meters this number is exactly between 0 and 1. 0 0.5 refers to the fifth dash between 0 and 1 on the meter stick. Each decimal is one dash out of 10. Instead of saying half, we can also say 0 0.5. Look at the snowfall on Wednesday and Thursday. On which day did the village receive more snowfall? According to this meter stick, there was more snowfall on Thursday. But how come? Isn't 7 less than 25? How can 1.7 be more than 1.25? Watch this episode to know more. The PE teacher asked the students to run around the basketball court and he timed them. Which student ran the fastest? This table shows the time it took each student to run around the court. Let's compare these numbers. We notice that some of them are written as decimals and others are written as fractions. We can use either decimals or fractions to express parts of a number. All those students ran slightly more than 10 seconds, but less than 11. Sally ran 10.8 seconds. If we divide the gap between 10 and 11 on the number line into 10 equal marks, Sally would be on the eighth mark out of 10. Serene ran 10.9 seconds, which is at the ninth mark. Hadi ran 10 seconds and one over two, which means half. The center of this number line is the fifth out of 10 marks. 10.5 also means half. 10, 1 over 2, and 10.5 represent the same number. Hala ran 10 and 1 over 4, which means a quarter. Now we must divide the space between 10 and 11 into 4 equal sections to show 1 out of 4. A quarter is at the first section out of 4. That's 10 and a quarter. Now, how do we write a quarter using decimals? Let's divide this section into 100 equal marks instead of 10. 10 divided by 4 equals 25. One fourth or a quarter of 100 is 25. So we can say that Hala ran 10.25 seconds. That means 10 and a quarter. The final runner was Rafi. He ran 10.35 seconds. Let's color 35 sections. 35 sections out of the 100. 10.35 is slightly more than 10 and a quarter. Did you notice that 10.9 is greater than 10.35? 10.9 also means 10.90. It's either nine marks out of 10 or 90 marks out of the 100. 
The same thing applies to 10.8, which also means 10.80, and 10.5, which is half. 10.50 also means 10 and a half, since 5 is half the 10 and 50 is half the 100. So, Hala was the fastest runner, while Serene was the slowest. Sarah wants to buy two and a half kilograms of cheese. What package is the closest to what she needs? To understand the amount of cheese in each package, we have to look at the decimals and compare them because all those packages have more than two kilograms, but less than three kilograms of cheese. Sarah needs two and a half kilograms. How can we express half in decimal? Sarah needs 2.5 kilograms of cheese or 2.50. None of the packages contains this amount. Which one is the closest to it? The first package contains 2.7 kilograms, which is the same as saying two and seven sections out of 10 or two and 70 sections out of 100. The second package contains 2.55 kilograms. The third package contains 2.25, that's two and a quarter. And the fourth package contains 2.05 kilograms, indicating two and five sections out of the hundred. Don't get confused. This isn't 2.5, meaning 2.50, but 2.05. It's two and five over hundred. None of those packages contain exactly two and a half, but the closest is the second package, 2.55 kilograms, which is slightly more than two kilograms and a half. Can you order the following amounts of cheese from least to greatest? First, let's transform all the fractions here into decimals. Five, three out of 10, is equal to 5.3 or 5.30. 5 and 33 over 100 is equal to 5.33. And keep in mind that 5.2 is also 5.20. The smallest number is 5.03. Then comes 5.2. This is smaller than 5.30 and the greatest is 5.33. Here you go. Was it easy to order these numbers? The farmer picked 17.3 kilograms of apples and 9.56 kilograms of pears. How much did all the fruits weigh in total? We've learned how to compare decimal numbers. Now let's find the sum. Let's add. We place the numbers on top of each other so that it would be easier to add. But wait a second, is this correct? No, we should add the decimals and the whole numbers separately. So let's place the decimal points on top of each other. Now we can add 3 to 56 and 17 to 9. We can also add zeros in the empty spaces. Because 17.3 is the same as saying 17.30, and the zero before 9.56 does not affect the value of this number. Let's add. Zero plus six is six, three plus five is eight, and 17 plus nine equals 26. The farmer picked around 27 kilograms. He picked slightly less than 27 kilograms to be exact. Salam, Farah, and Iman earned money last week. They earned 9.50 liras, 6.25, and 2.25 liras. They divided the money equally among the three of them. To know how much money each one got, first, we must find the sum. Do you think we can add these amounts without a pencil and a paper? Let's first add the whole numbers, nine, plus six plus two. Nine plus two equals 11, and 11 plus six equals 17. Keep this number in mind. Now look at the decimals. A decimal point 50 
means half. A decimal point 25 means a quarter. We have two quarters, which together make a half. The decimals all together add up to one lira. Half plus quarter plus quarter make one whole. So the total amount would be 18 liras or 18.0. Now the girls will divide the 18 among themselves. 18 divided by three is six, that's correct. Each girl receives six liras. In this episode, we learned how to compare decimals and how to add them. Well, I hope you found this easy and fun. See you next time. Goodbye. لمشاهدة المزيد من الحلقات زوروا سات سفن بلاس